Well, we just had some fantastic performances mm -hmm. from the up-and-coming show Henry V, which is being produced by the Nashville Shakespeare Festival. And we have the uh, artistic director, Denise yes. Hicks, here with us today. I'm Welcome very Denise. excited. Hi. I'm so glad to be here. <laughs> and so glad I could bring some actors. Yes. Too. Yeah, yes. that was really fun. fun I got to hear goosebumps them. listening to the speeches. You did. I did. I did. I did. I'm a Shakespeare buff. I, I didn't get goosebumps, but I did think it was very good. Yeah. I've, seen, I've seen a lot of the shows, too, because yeah. I have had kids who their schools go to the shows, mm -hmm. and you guys take that in the winter. Um, you have a whole month. We do the, the month of January usually at the Trout Theater on Belmont University campus. So we've been doing that since 2008. We've been doing Shakespeare in the Park since 1988. All right. Wow. A lot of Shakespeare yes. here. In Nashville. I saw Romeo and Juliet in the Shakespeare in the Park too. That was yeah. a couple years ago. That was fun. Oh, saw that's both the Eddie great. George's performances with yeah. Othello and what was that? Uh, what did you do? Uh, Julius down. Caesar. Julius Caesar. First he played Julius Caesar. Caesar for us, which was like who else in the city of Nashville could be the Colossus, right? So he was. Oh. So fantastic. He was great. <laughs> Such a great man. So wonderful to work with. Everything about him is just, Excellent. and he's so disciplined. Like he sets a great tone for the whole cast because he's so disciplined and so focused right. that, oh, that was he fun. brings <clears throat> that like to theater. So right. yeah. Sorry you missed that, fantastic. Curtis. I, I was prior to Curtis that was, showing that, up in Nashville. Yeah, that was way past the Eddie George. Circa Curtis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're glad you're here. Well, I'm, I'm very excited to be here. So this, this particular, we, Henry V is going to be opening August 13th. Correct. Runs all the way through September 13th, and that is located in, in, in Centennial Park. Yeah, right? at, the, at the old band shell there in Centennial Park. So, Excellent. And that's it's where so we've been performing there since 89, I think, so very way good. back in the Excellent. day. And, that, but, like, and you've been um, with since 1990, is what it said? You've been with was, the Shakespeare Sp Festival? I did. I assistant directed The Merry Wives of Windsor that year, so I was very Aww. pregnant and couldn't be in the show, but <laughs> I assistant directed. And yeah, and just the, the community service that it is, because we don't charge admission. We ask for donations. We have so much community support that you makes do. it all possible. Yes. But it uh, just feels like a really wonderful, meaningful thing to do every year because families gather. You know, there's yeah. just there's no barriers to it. It's we, very well respected around Nashville, the Shakespeare well, Festival. Right. Absolutely, it's Nashville. I mean, it, it is, is Nashville. Yeah. We hire Nashvillians. Everybody mm -hmm. who's in the show or involved mm -hmm. uh, live here, work here, play here, learn here. So, mm -hmm. and so, what um, changes have you seen? You've seen a lot of changes and. In Nashville? In, in the Shakespeare Festival in yeah. 20 years, right? Yes, and yet the spirit has always. I mean, our, our productions vibes. are bigger and better as our talent pool grows. With right, more right. and more talent moving to Nashville, I think um, the productions are, are really, every year we always strive to make this the best ever, you know? And I hear that every year. People say, oh, this was my favorite, or this was the mm -hmm. best ever. So we always, we just keep pushing forward right. every and, year. Yeah, and besides those two shows that you have twice a year, you also have all kinds of other offerings, like the sampler. <laughs> right. So what, what really is a sampler? <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not a menu item, but ladies no. and gentlemen. Well, it, it sort of is. <laughs> it's kind of is, because it gives, um, it, these are smaller shows. They're like 45 or 50 minutes long. They can tour to schools or community centers or um, libraries or wherever. We performed in Monteagle, our, our four-person Discovering Shakespeare Sampler, performed up at the uh, the Monteagle Sunday School Assembly up, oh, up on the mountain. Fun. And um, so it's really, it's a sampling of some of the most famous works of Shakespeare, Little Hamlet, Little right. Romeo and Juliet, yeah. Little Julius Caesar. So, right. um, and so people, uh, it's, I think it's easier to digest Shakespeare if you take it in smaller Small bites. Small doses, you know, right. Rather sure. than, than Hamlet's a really big play. Yeah, and, right. you, and you do that speech. one with Brian Russell, yeah. who I know because he's a film and theater actor. He's one that goes in between. So. He is, well, Brian and I have been working together since our day. Our first show that we did together was at Chaffin's Barn Dinner Theater All in right. 1982. Oh. <laughs> and uh, so he and I have just this um, working relationship. And when we both realized we knew a lot of Shakespeare, we put together a sampler that's just sort of custom designed for us. But but they're all really interactive and, yeah. and casual in a way, street clothes, you know. And I know that with the with the traveling shows that you do, 
there is a, an options for talkbacks. There are options for lesson plans to follow, especially if it's an ed educational setting. It really, I mean, the, uh, our part of our mission is to is to break down the the stigma that Shakespeare is difficult or you know or boring because it really it it's really worth it's challenging right. but worth the challenge. It right. really it's a really right. rewarding um, experience if you just. You know, take the time to really get into it. So. I think you also take the boring out of it when you incorporate some new creative concepts. For instance, Henry V, you're setting in the Civil War era. We are. Um, Nat McIntyre is the director of that, okay. Henry V, and he, um, I knew we wanted to do Henry V this year. It was just we had never done it. We couldn't find any record of it ever having been produced, a full professional production oh, in wow. Nashville. Okay. Um, and he said, what about the Civil War? And so That's pretty neat. the tradition is there. People during the Civil War were reading Shakespeare. They were reading the Bible and reading Shakespeare. I mean, that was, right. if they the had books things. in their house, that's what they had. And Henry V specifically was a, has always been used to inspire people during war times. Right. Um, I have a little edition that, that, um, that the government put out so that soldiers during the World War II could have it in their pockets, like a little Henry V oh, that that's they could so actually. Interesting. So the whole Civil yeah. War thing, you know, was, uh, I mean, there's some controversial issues that are certainly, you know, right. involved even right now mm -hmm. in, um, in our country. So we went to uh, Robert Hicks, who wrote Widow of the South and is sort of a historian, you know, mm -hmm. he's, he's like the go-to guy for, for um, how to how to present things through the Civil War, and that's he gave neat. us a thumbs up, and he said, "Let's oh, you know good. take it on." And so. lots of that's Civil awesome. War Civil War history in Nashville too, of course. Oh yes, with battles. Right, right. Yeah. And this is 2015 is the 150th anniversary of the end of the war. So I didn't this, know that. So our Henry the so there you go. Look at that. Look at all those tie-ins. Yeah, yeah, no I kidding. It. I know. <laughs> well, we're about out of time, but tell us about the January uh, show coming up. This coming January 2016 will be King Lear. I'm directing that. Again, yeah. I could not find, asked the archivist at the library and said, I don't think a full professional production of King Lear has ever happened in Nashville. So oh, it's wow. an exciting prospect. David Landon is playing the king. He's been teaching Shakespeare down at Sewanee at University of the South for decades and for decades. So he is, um, he's a really, he's a strong, glorious actor right. and we have a great cast. It's going to be a really fun show. So for anyone who is interested or maybe has not seen a production from Nashville Shakespeare Festival, how do they get in contact with you guys? Well, the best way is the, the, uh, the website is nashvilleshakes.org mm -hmm. and we try to keep that up to date. We oh, also it's have a, great a website. Facebook page yes. and yes. Uh, we Twitter and do all of, you know, we're on Instagram. You're on everything. And, hey, yeah, Shakespeare on Twitter. All right. <laughs> That's great. Well, Denise, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank it's going to be great having you and your actors. Sure. Yes, we really you appreciate you. And don't forget to check out Shakespeare in the Park starting August 13th all the way through September 13th. Great. Thank Thanks. you.